UFC lightweight division bout. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the fifty takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Real nice body kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? And that he comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh! Oh! He didn't like that left like hand. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, high amplitude head kick! That uppercut landed! Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Able to check the high kick. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know it was still out of head. You know, that, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated. He's so able to fight for both fighting stances. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the last round. Oh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Final seconds to round one. Man, he's time to shoot. Round two winding down. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was... Second round here. Beautiful punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the turn. Shots from the top. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. An uppercut landed. Well, he's really 
is starting to land a hot... Oh! 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 Right there, the center will blow the fight. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great face on the head Head kick is blocked. Good punch. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Looking for a guillotine. Encouraging as he gets right back up again. So he's really starting to put together some significant buckets. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Big kick land. Nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Final seconds here of round number two. Whiffs on the elbow. Very tricky. Oh, 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 oh. While well, well, his kicking game was outstanding. the shot, trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, not only is he right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Big knee to the body! Nice punch, Lance. Damage is about to start. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Yeah, no doubt an absolutely brutal elbow to stop his opponent here tonight. And this is clearly been a weapon that has been a part of his arsenal in his UFC career, but it takes a lot of repetitions in the gym and a lot of confidence to willingly throw elbows the way he did there. So a lot of force in a short distance, and when you execute it like that, it is absolutely devastating. Inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 38 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by Matt Bulldog. All right, so there he is.